Hello YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with another pickups video. And the first thing I picked up is a <clears throat> child car safety seat. No. <laughs> this is from Computers for Kids from a couple weeks ago. I've done a couple of videos now where I picked up stuff from there. Um, this was two weeks ago that I picked up this box of stuff. And it's a good size box. Again, Dawson Amiga stuff mostly. Just a smattering, a smattering of stuff. We'll start off with a bang. We've got NBA Live 96. Sorry for the darkness in here. It's the webcam. It's not very good. That was just sitting there all by itself, and I felt sorry for it. I don't even like basketball, so. Basketball. Competition Pro Joystick. A white one with red buttons. Again, it was just sitting there on a dusty shelf, so. You throw everything in a box for 10 bucks, so. Shh, budgies. Budgies, quiet. Uh, okay, this is DOS, and these are all complete. Again, this is a mixture of DOS and Amiga stuff. Uh, Operation Wolf. Just like the NES game. Right? Based on the arcade game, of course. Operation Wolf. This is Amiga. I think I got Elite 2 a couple weeks back, or a month back. This is the first Elite. What was it? Frontier Elite 2? Elite Frontier 2? This is the first one, anyway. For the Amiga. Space Simulator. This is PC, a little newer. So I think this is a Windows. Eh, no, I must DOS. 46, 36 or 46. Armored Fist. Tank game. Good golly, is NASCAR. Racing 3. A whole bunch of left turns. Lots of fun. Shiny things going vroom vroom. I like racing games, but NASCAR, yeah. We've got Womb Raider, The Last Revelation, with uh, very cartoony Laura Croft. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. This is for the PC, Turbo Outrun. I don't see this one too often. That's kind of cool. Again, complete. Mean 18 Golf. Now, I do like golf games. They get a bad rap, I guess, because they're a sports game. The golf games can be fun. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. For again for the PC Stellar 7. Kind of a battle zone style thing. Updated. That one's a lot of fun. This is Amiga. Yeah. Red Baron. The original Red Baron. Looks pretty good. I don't think I've ever played this one. Maybe no, maybe I have played the PC version. I can't remember. Um F-15 Strike Eagle. Duh. Und F-6, F-6, F-15 F Strike Eagle 2. This is, those two were PC. Uh, oh, I got this one a while ago. So I'm just showing it again. Um, Tele Epic. And the reason I'm showing it again is I've, a couple weeks ago in this box, I found the sequel. Tell a War 2. So I think they're a, a series. And they're, uh, the, yeah, that's Amiga. And the last couple of things, these weren't games per se, but parts for a computer that I could use if I ever build a 486, which I'd like to do. Just a simple ATI. Uh, this is an ISA card, one meg. <laughs> In a box and a sound blaster. Now, it's actually got two cards in here. It's got a Sound Blaster and a Sound Blaster 16, which is the better card, actually. But it's kind of cool to find these little things boxed. So, yeah. That's that box of crap from a couple of weeks ago. Um, okay, yeah, I'll do that last. A uh, few random things that I found in the last couple of weeks. This came in the mail. This was eBay. Uh, Black Label, original NES game. Got Wrecking Crew a while back. This is the other one that I've been wanting to get for a while. And it's Ice Climber. Sorry about the darkness. Good game, though. Label's in good shape. Fun game. This I got in the mail yesterday, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's a big Donkey Kong fan. This is a homebrew uh, from a company called Pico Interactive. So if you look up, if you Google Pico Interactive, you'll find them on the web. 
Uh, they're only making so many of these, but this is a really good version of Donkey Kong. It's called Classic Kong. I played it last night, and it's fantastic. And I will do a review of this eventually when I get my other computer going with the uh, capture. It's Classic Kong. And I think these are brand new shells. This is not uh, a repurposed shell from an old game. These are new. They've even got their website on the back. I probably can't see that, but if I go interactive on there. Yeah, Classic Kong. Nice professional looking label. There is a boxed version too that you can get, a complete version. Um, I didn't get that. I just got the loose cart. It's a lot of money to get this complete. This, I mean, this was 30 bucks just for the cart. So I think the boxed one was 50 bucks, and then plus shipping and everything. It would have been quite a bit. So I just went with the loose cart version. Still very, very good. Uh, had some credit at the uh, local game store. Budgies, please. Uh, so I got a couple of PS3 games that I've been eyeing for a while. So these didn't technically cost me anything. I'm a big Trekkie, so I didn't pay $19 for it. Um, I've heard it's kind of glitchy. And I, yeah, I've noticed a couple of glitches like Spock will run in, <laughs> run in spot and you have to kind of go get them. But I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's pretty good. And uh, I have the first one on Steam. I wanted to get the sequel. Whoa, don't fall over. Hold on a second. Because uh, this is a great first-person puzzle game. Portal 2. Again, didn't cost me anything. Had store credit. Loved the first game on Steam, and I'm really enjoying this one, too. Great sense of humor in the game, too. Fantastic puzzles. Uh, this past week, we found this. More PC stuff. Um, it's the PC version, Windows 95 version of Tempest 2000, and it's got the music on it, too. Great soundtrack for this game. Tempest 2000, that's complete. Okay, now to today. I think that's everything. Yeah, until today. Um, computers for Kids Yard Sale. Same thing. I got the uh, child car box full of stuff. Got this stuff today. I went with uh, Bretsky, uh, a.k.a. Coleco Hitman on uh, Atari Age. Um, we went together. Um, he wasn't interested in this, so I picked it up. I already have one, but I don't have one in the box. And it works. Another Coleco. Commodore 64. And uh, this is an interesting box. I think this is a Canadian version of the box. Because it's got Canadian address, it's multilingual, it's got the Canadian Olympic thing on there for some reason. Canadian Olympic. But yeah, it's uh, it's not the box you normally see, um, but it works great. It comes complete with the, the power supplies in there. Um, there were some books too. Oh, what was else in there? Uh, printer interface, super graphics. This has never been opened. Computer disk drive cleaning kit. Disk cleaning kit from Canadian Tire. Um, magic desk file. And I think that's it, like a word processor, maybe? Uh, oh, it does a bunch of different things. Typewriter, file, drawer, printer, disk, I don't know. Kind of like an OS. User's guide. Catalog. I love getting the old catalogs. I've mentioned that a million times. This hasn't been open. I couldn't find the cassette player there, but this was on top. Cassette bonus pack, and this is brand new. There's cellophane still over all these little cassettes. It's a starter kit, I guess, for learning to use your Commodore 64. And a uh, user's guide for the disk drive. Oh, the disk drive. <laughs> right. A more generic looking case, but here's the disk drive. Now the disk drive, I haven't tested, but all the hookups are in there too. Hopefully that works. And uh, like I said, I, I met, uh, so, oh, that was $10 for everything. The Commodore 64 stuff. Everything I just showed you for the Commodore 64, 10 bucks, entire lot. Pretty good deal. Uh, and I, like I mentioned, I went there with Brett, uh, Coleco Hitman, and he knew I wanted an N64, so he had a whole bunch of them. He gave me one. So now I can play my one Nintendo 64 game, which is um, Robotron 64. Love that game. Love it.
So, and, and Nintendo 64 just for one game. <laughs> but thank you very much, Brett. I mean, that was really kind of him because, you know, you, you can sell N64s today for like 50, 60 bucks, right? It's got, he gave me a controller, all the hookups and everything for it. So, yeah, I'll be rocking Ro Robotron 64 today. And last couple of things, on the way home I hit another thrift store in the area, more computer software, computer games. Um, six bucks each, which I thought was kind of high, but considering the titles, I thought it's worth it. So we got, there was a bunch of stuff there, but I just grabbed these two, because they were the most interesting looking, and the oldest I think too. Zork Zero, and again these are all complete, never heard of Zork Zero. I don't know if it's like Coke Zero. I hope it's not that bad. Zork Zero. And this one I was really happy to find. Uh, Lucasfilm game. Graphic adventure game. My favorite kind of game. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah. Complete. Uh, I don't think I've ever played this one. So yeah, really looking forward to trying this one out. I'll probably put it on DOSBox. Hopefully I can get it going in DOSBox. So even if the discs don't work, that's the great thing about DOSBox. Download, find, hopefully, the actual game. So yeah, those are my pickups. I, pretty good, actually. I think I did the last uh, couple of weeks. So some great stuff. Thanks again to Brett for the N64. Love it. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is Atari Lee. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.